All right. Molarity, please. Definition, please. I said molarity is the amount of a substance in a certain volume of a solution. Full stop. It is represented by capital M. It is represented by capital M. What you see here, right? So capital M is for molarity. Capital M is for molarity. Mathematically, molarity, mathematically, molarity M is equal to mole all over volume. The mole unit is MOL. The volume is in DMQ, decimeter Q. We established something earlier that CMQ and milliliter are the same thing. Now we are bringing in DMQ. Are they the same thing? Do we convert? When we get to that point, we'll see it, please. All right. Molarity is equal to mole over volume. Mole is in MOL. Volume is in DMQ. So apparently, the SI unit, apparently, the SI unit is mole per DM cube or mole DM to power minus 3. All right. So mole per DM cube or mole DM to power minus 3. There is an alternative um, formula for this. Where mo molarity M is equal to mole is the SI unit for what fundamental quantity? Huh? Right. Fundamental quantity are seven of them, right? Uh, the, the most, out of the seven of them, one of them is called the amount of substance, and the fundamental unit is what there? Mole. So, in, 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 in essence, this mole can be replaced by what there? Amount of substance all over volume. Right? So you see that call it mole over, over volume or this amount of substance is measured in mol, M O L, still the same thing. Volume is in DMQ. Right? So please take note of this. Let's let's move please. All right, let's do something. Let's do something. Um, let's do something. Please watch this. Please watch this. We want to derive something. Watch this. We want to derive something. Please look at this. Um, we just said molarity is M. Please. It's equal to... Um, this is not just mole, but number of moles. That's why it's called an amount of substance. We represent mole right, using N. Your abbreviation there is N, that's number of moles, right, all over V for volume. Molarity, moles, or number of moles, right, and then volume. From here, if I do a cross multiplication, this becomes all over 1. So N times 1, N is equal to M times V, MV. So the number of moles, please take note of this, the number of moles is equal to the product of molarity and volume. Please take this down. It's a very important thing. The number of moles is equal to molarities or um, the number of moles is equal to the product of molarity and volume. That's one. Note. Note. Molarity is of that M is often called concentration. Molarity is also is often called concentration. It's often called concentration that C. So it depends on your author or the context. Whether it's more molarity or, or concentration is the same thing. That means N can still be equal to CV. Please note this. So note that why they call it molarity or they call it concentration. Technically, they are the same thing. That's it. Right? The same thing. You want to derive something. 
want to derive something from this and this. Want to derive something. So let me give you a short note. I'll explain it, then we'll do a derivation that we'll use in solving, please. If you're here, take down, please. One line space, take down, please. One line space, take down, please. When the original solution with concentration M1, when the original solution with concentration M1, when the original solution with concentration M1, please, M1 is M subscript 1. Please, this way. M1 is M subscript 1, please. When the original solution with concentration M1, I've said that concentration and molarity are used uh, interchangeably. Right. When the original solution with concentration M1 and volume V1, the V1 is V subscript 1, okay? V subscript 1 is diluted to a new volume V subscript 2 is diluted to a new volume V subscript 2 the solution contains the same number of moles so it is diluted to um, a new volume V2, that's V subscript 2. The solution still contains the same number of moles. The solution still contains the same number of moles of solute. The solution still contains the same number of moles of solute. But the concentration has decreased. But the concentration has decreased in M subscript 2. But the concentration has decreased in M subscript 2. M, this now, this is this, this, M2, M2, M subscript 2, this. However, 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 the product M2V2, however, the product M2V2, however, the product M2V2 equals the same number of moles of solute. The product M2V2 equals the same number of moles of solute. The product M2V2 equals the same number of moles of solute. All right. All right, let me explain this. Let me explain this. Let me explain this very briefly, and then we'll move on. All right, so let me explain this. Um, so let me explain this in a simple layman understanding so you know what we're doing. Please look up, please. Look up, please. First things first, case one, I have a jar here. Case one, I have a jar here, right? And I have a small amount of liquid in that jar we have this now in this small amount of liquid i have in this particular jar what i have here is that i i literally emptied half of a pack of sugar inside this i emptied half of a pack of sugar into this at this point this particular uh, let's call this a at point a here this stuff here has a concentration the fact about this is that this stuff will be too sugary, true or false? The concept of being too sugary is what we call molarity or concentration. How sugary it is. That's the concept of molarity. In essence, this man has um, its level or its sugar level, which will be an excess level of sugar here to be too sugary. Let's call that concentration M1 or C1 as the case may be. It also has its volume of water there. Let's call it V1. So I have this. Don't forget that the number of moles 
of sugar here we are taking half of a pack all right the half a pack of sugar will still be here so n1 which is number of moles of the sugar in this is equal to the concentration that's how sugary this would be times the initial volume v1 now that's case a let's come to case b case b i have this this same stuff here i decided to pour in more water if i pour in more water here what happens the volume increases i'm having this and this let's call this v2 the volume increases yeah again what about the molarity for this one here will it be more sugar if i pour in more water here to increase the volume will it be more sugary or less sugary yes. if it becomes less sugary what has happened the molarity or the concentration that were there reduced. What happened to the volume? It has what? It has what? Increase. Okay. The volume has increased. So if I pour in water here, it will become less sugary. That means the concentration or the molarity has been reduced, but the volume has been increased. But then question is this this is n2 right n is equal to m times v at all points now this is n2 now the question is this whether you choose to increase volume or reduce molarity if i have a certain amount of sugar here the certain amount of sugar you have here is what it is what is called the number of moles of the sugar by number of moles of the sugar we mean the amount of sugar that's here now if i choose to add water to this the number of sugar that is here, does the amount of sugar, does it increase or decrease? Now listen, oh, listen, listen. Hold on. I have this one. I have this one here. Uh, let me just put this here. Okay. For this one here, I have a particular volume and concentration. Very sugary. I added water. When you add water, we agree that the concentration becomes lesser. That's this. The volume becomes bigger. That's this. The number of sugar here or sugar particles here. When I add water, the sugar particle does it increase or reduce? It doesn't change. Have it? Yeah. Yes. What changes is what there? The concentration and what there? The volume. But what happens there? The amount of sugar does what there? Remains the same. And that's what that statement is telling you. That the number of moles remain what there unchanged. If the number of moles remains unchanged, what happens? It means the number of sugar particles I had at this initial point is still equal to what there? The number of sugar particles I have at what there? The end point. That is the same thing. What's the value of this man here? M1 V1. What's the value of this man here? M2 V2. We said M and C are used what there? Interchangeably. So this can also become what there c1 v1 is equal to what there that formula you've been using this is how it is derived so what is your c1 v1 thing that you're doing this is how to derive it all right that's it please copy that let's proceed please copy down let's proceed please sample problem please um sample question please under molarity sample question please check your question please it said you are provided with a three molar that's three capital m naoh sodium hydroxide solution full stop calculate the volume of this stock solution which must be added to a flask to make a 0.1 molar solution when diluted to 250 milliliter all right let's solve that please okay you ask Yes, now you, your question is already there. Solution. Please check. What and what am I giving there? They said you are provided with the word there. 3 M. That's 3 molar. So you're giving your initial molarity or initial concentration. This as equal to what there? 3 M. That's this. They said calculate what there? The volume of this stock solution which must be added to a flask to make a what number two you're giving the second concentration as 0 
molar when diluted to 250 ml 250 ml there is it a v1 or a v2 V2. Huh? V2. you have 250 there is it a v2 or a v1 V2. if you say v1 instead of v1 so v1 what do you think is v1 hmm? the first volume that was mentioned but then so the 250 is it v1 or v2 v1 all right so listen 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 i i don't always assume people know it i like like what are you not on i'll see explain it like in this very basic concept so like you get an understanding of this listen look at what i gave you an illustration about concentrations when i, I gave you um the first and second jar m1 v1 i gave you m2 v2 here's the concept please between m1 and m2 which was greater huh m1 was greater than what there m2 why because i added water and what happened there i reduced the concentration this can be called diluting if i dilute this the concentration reduces so m1 should be bigger than what there m2 that's formularity come to volume this and this which should be bigger v1 or v2 v2. obviously v2 should be bigger than what there v1 so here's the thing they said you are provided with a three molar that's m1 now listen to the english they said calculate the volume of this stock solution now, before they said this stock solution, what did you have before then? It was only what there? The three moles, which is what there? M1. Read the question and understand it. They said, calculate the volume of this stock. This stock, which stock was mentioned before then? Is the 3M. So if they say you calculate the volume of this stock, that becomes what there? V1. It's V1 for M1. Now, look at this. Now said, which must be added to a flax to make a what there? 